Asian. This is all. Oh, is this is this Thanksgiving for Thanksgiving? George. What is, makes you think that? Because um, it says giving thanks. This is also Google uh, Slides. It's I'm fun. working on that too. Can I show them my Google yeah. Slides? Yeah. Okay. Well, take a minute so you can gather your stuff up. Can These are what you're going to need. Paper. I need paper, Mom. Hey, James, find your paper and pencil. I have the other item. Hey, look. Paper. What kind of paper? White, green? Whatever you want to write on. It doesn't matter. I'm able to write. Can I show them my Google slide out? I had it over there. This time. So it's just about dry ink. Full of M&M's. You'll need them until I say. Some M&M's. I don't know. <laughs> All right, do you have your stuff together? Yeah, I got one, two, and three. You've got all three, Daryl? Awesome. How about you, Eric? Look at active no. speaker. Do you have yours, Eric? Um, do I dump the M&Ms into the bowl? Yes, you're going to want to be able to get to them in just a few minutes. Whoa, my shirt looks weird on the video. All right, I'm going to move yeah. on. Look at yes. mom. It yeah. may not look like that on their screen, Eric. I don't know. All right, ready? Yeah. So... Raise your hand. Who could tell me what gratitude means? Nothing. What does gratitude mean? Giving thanks. Giving thanks. Thank you. Darrow, what do you think gratitude means? Um, uh, being thankful. Being thankful. Let's see what the dictionary says gratitude means. Gratitude is the quality of being thankful. Readiness show appreciation for and to return kindness. Huh. Okay. Why do we need to be grateful? Why do we need to give thanks? I don't pay attention. I'm not sure. Did you kill you and kill you all? No. They'll be mean to you then. Not necessarily. It's polite. It's polite. Dario, Eric, do you guys have an idea why it's important to give thanks? I don't have any ideas. Um, no, I do not. All right, let me give you a clue. Now, do you have an idea why we need to give thanks? Mom, the clue was the Bible. Yeah. It's, you it's have because of the Father says to. That's wrong. It's because of the Father says to, Mom. Eric, can you read that top scripture to us? Oh, it's Psalm 13, 136. Who did she ask to help read? Uh, Daryl, you'll get to read the second one once Eric's done reading us that top yeah. one. Okay? I, I'm done. I know. Well, no, say okay. 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 Psalm 136, one. Give thanks. Oh, wait, I need to do something right now. Uh, ah, no, not that. There we go. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. For he, he is good. His love endures forever. Go for it, Darrow. Always giving thanks to, the, to God the Father for everything. Guys, we're so now. why do we need to now. give thanks? Um, because the scriptures tell us to. Yeah. Heavenly Father has asked that we be thankful for all the things he's given us. So let's figure out some ways we can give thanks. You know, gratitude is very easy to show. Let's see <gasps> if Oh, ready? You can thank others, help others, appreciate what you have, 
notice your blessings, know your gifts, and serve others. What ways do you like to show people gratitude? Hugs. Hugs, that's a good one. Saying thank you. Saying thank you. That's all I ever do. Just saying thank you. Or what about this? You're welcome for the skies, the seas. Well, the that would be what they would hey. sing back to you. You'd you're have welcome. to sing thank you. You're welcome. All right. I feel you. Darrow, what's some way you like to tell people thank you? Um, the same thing as Eric. Same thing as Eric with hugs. Uh -huh. Have you ever heard someone talk about writing thank you notes? Oh yeah, I've heard of that. So you could write thank you notes for gifts people give you. Um, what if, Eric, what if Charlie were to make your bed for you? How could you show her thank you? Um, oh, not that, oh good. Um, let's see. Saying thanks. That's a good one. Darrow, what if Ion cleaned up your toys for you? How would you show her gratitude? Um, uh, um, <clears throat> uh, I would, um, I would, <clears throat> I would maybe do, maybe I would do the same thing for her. That would be very good way to do it, serving her like that. James, what if Wyler um, did your kitchen job for you? What's the way you could tell him thank you? Stop, break, break my machine that drops cats into love in Minecraft every five seconds. So you built something in Minecraft to annoy a Wyler and you need to get rid of it? Yeah. That's the way to do it. He likes cats and drops cats into love. <laughs> that was fun. Right. So, this week is Thanksgiving. Uh, so we, okay, hang, okay, hang on. What was it? I don't know where your toy chase is. So this week is Thanksgiving where we go extra to share what we're thankful for, to show gratitude. So what is something extra you can do this week to, to help with Thanksgiving? Is there something extra that you think you can do? Dar um... Darrow, you're muted. You'll have to unmute Give yourself. Helping others make dinner. Helping make Thanksgiving dinner. Helping make dinner. That would be a good way to do it. What are some other ways, you guys, that we could show extra gratitude this week? Hey! Um, uh, oh, she already called me. I already raised Well, she said, how, how can you guys show grant? What are other ways you guys? And that means all of y'all. Mm -hmm. yeah, all of you, that it's Thanksgiving this week. So a week to be extra thankful for things. Uh, to have something to show that we're thankful. Yeah, how can you show that you're, you're, you're thankful? How can you show gratitude? By, um, <clears throat> Um, let's see. Um, by helping, by helping clean up some messes. That that would be a very good way to help clean I up some messes. Some messes. Yeah, you probably squished something with the leg of your chair. James, can you think of a way you could be extra thankful this week? Mom, I need you to take these away from me. Oh, yeah. Don't eat them. No, Gwena did. Okay, so what if you were to 
when you say one of your personal prayers this week, you just do nothing but thank yous and thanking Heavenly Father for all your blessings. Or what if you have a toy or a tablet or something that means a lot to you? You can show gratitude by taking good care of it and not letting it get broken, right? Yep. All right. I will be right back. I need to go do a part on my bread that I've got a bread order I'm working on. So you guys talk for a minute and I'll be right back. James, don't click things. I don't talk. All three of you. Why? Oh. Oh. Oh, hold on, James. Don't push any buttons. I was pressing the button to unmute. All right, guys, what food are you most grateful for? Or maybe I shouldn't do I was trying to just kill time, but maybe I'm getting into Carolyn's game. How about, um, what is your favorite Thanksgiving food this week? What are you looking forward to? Oh, mama, we have not peanut butter pie. I don't know. Well, if you can pick, how about this? If you could pick the whole entire Thanksgiving meal, what would you want it to be for that route? Uh, well, dinner rolls and peanut butter. Stop. That sounds good. Huh? Okay, what would you have, Daryl? If you could pick all of Thanksgiving dinner. Sure still. Um, I would have my favorite food. Which is? Pizza. All right. James, what would you have if you could pick Thanksgiving dinner? We Does talked about things, everything good to do. do. Do you remember what you asked for for this Thanksgiving? Uh, no. Okay. Stop. Well, James told me okay. when we were trying to plan our Thanksgiving dinner with Brigham Becca and Heber that he wanted fajitas for Thanksgiving. That would be yummy too. But all right, Carolyn, sorry, I was just trying to still dig I appreciate it. Yeah, sorry, I had to run take care of that bread real fast. So, all right. A fajita spicy. So, they can be spicy. All right, you're going to need your paper and pencil. You're going to write on a different line, so not all close together because you have to write something, but I need you to write your ABCs, A through Z, down one side of your paper. So James, start putting the ABCs down one side of your paper. A, B, and C, and D. It's all the way over right by that red line. Good job. This is called categories. We're going to have a gamer in just a minute. Once everyone has your ABCs written down, I will give you guys 60 seconds. And you have to think of something that starts with that letter that you're thankful for, like for... Um, Let's say C, I would put cookies or um, S, I would put snow, something like that. And you're going to write down everything you're thankful for in 60 seconds. If you don't get all of the letters in, that's okay. And then when I say stop, we will go through and see who has um, the most different answers and not the same as what the others have. So when you are ready, touch your nose. When you have your A through Zs. They're really small. Well, you can have to write really small then. All right, if you have your A through Zs written down, touch your nose. Darrow just got through K or L. So he's a half. All right, right that's there. just fine. I just wanted to be able to see who's there. And I saw James and Eric both touch noses. So. While we uh, let Darrow finish, I will get my timer started.
All right. So think of something you're thankful for so that as soon as I say go, you could start writing them down. And you don't have to go in order. You can skip letters if you can't think of something. But just get as many of them done as you can. Okay, Darrow's ready. All right, on your marks. Get set. Right. How do I spell cookies? It's okay, just sound it out. Go as fast as you can. You're doing great. Get, we're not checking your spelling. As long as you can read what you write, that is just fine. Good job. Something more. Let, me help. Let me help you. Oh, five, four, three, two, one, stop. Right. So we're going to start with A. Who, what did you guys each write for A? James, what's yours? Apple. Eric, what's your A? Alligators. Sorry, I forgot I uh, muted myself and I had to temporarily unmute it. Sorry. No worries. Darrow, what was your A? I, I don't have an A. You didn't do an A? That's just fine. All right, James, what did you do for B? Okay. All right, Eric, what did you do for B? Oh, you're muted. Balloons. Balloons. And Dara, what did you do for B? Nothing. Nothing? That's okay. All right, what about- I don't have the next letter. All right, we'll go from the bottom to the top on my screen. Daryl, what did you do for C? Cookie. Ooh, nice. All right, Eric, do for C. C, okay, uh, cookies. Hi. Cookies, oh, there's two cookies. All right, James, what did you do for C? Cats. All right, so James so far has the most different. All right, Daryl, what did you do for D? Uh, can I show nothing? Nothing, Der Eric. What did you do for D? I have nothing. D through F. Did D through dum -dums. E. Dum dums. Dum dums. James, what did you do for D? Dogs. <laughs> Very good. All right, Eric. Do you have an E? E. Yeah. It is me. I like it. James, what's your E? Ears. Do you have an E, Darrow? Um, uh, no. No? All right. Um, F. James, what do you have for F? That top. It's very bright. Eric, what's your F? F? Uh, yeah. Family. A what? Family. Family. Oh, that's a good one. Do you have an arrow? Yes, food. But food. I have nothing G through I. You don't have a, any G through I? Yeah. I do have an okay. I, but a G All through right. H. All right. So we'll we'll get back there in just a second. Eric, do you have a G? Yes. Gratitude. Oh, very good. James, what's your G? Garuda. <laughs> James, what's your H? Ow. You are so funny, James. What's your H, Eric? H? Hats. Hats. All right, Daryl, you said you have an I. What's your I? I 
Huh? I own. I own. Ooh, very good. Do you have an I, Eric? I? Yes. Ice cream. No, no, no. I have nothing for that one, too. James, what's your I? I was going to write Iguana Iggy because he has a cool story and stuff. Like, oh, nice um, stuff. Why do stuff anymore? It's going to write like Iguana Iggy or something. Like Iggy Iguana or something. Uh -huh. which I got, didn't get to it when the time ended. All right. Do we but have any J's? If you have a J, touch your nose. All right, what about a K? Do you have something or some, if you have anything after K filled in, touch your nose. Nope, all right. Well, I challenge you when we're done with our Zoom call, finish filling in your alphabet, your whole alphabet with things you're thankful for. But I've got another game. Are you ready? Don't eat Pete. Back go. All right. So this is where you need your M and M's, but don't eat them quite yet. Okay. So when it's your turn, you're going to close your eyes and you can pick up two candies. Once you're holding your two candies, you look at your colors. And you look at the picture and see what color matches with the picture. And that's what you have to say out loud. So James, two candies. Okay, so blue and oh, yellow. I'm James, what is a memory you are grateful for? I don't have any. Are you grateful for memories of Grammy? Mm -hmm. Mom, I Go play. James, what is a skill you are grateful for? Learning how to do stuff easier. Like I can learn stuff really, really fast, and then get good at it really good and fast. Awesome. All right, eat your two. All right, Dara, close your eyes and pick up two M and M's. have one for this. Well, you could still leave it. I got two browns. So that means you need to name two of anything you're grateful for. My, fa my family and uh, our bike. All right, Eric, your turn. Close your eyes and grab two. Uh, what? Close your eyes and pick up two M&Ms. I did. What colors do you have? Blue and green. Blue and green. All right. So name a place you're grateful for. Hmm. Place. Grandpa's house. Oh, I'm grateful for that one too. All right. What's a skill you are grateful for? Eric, what's a skill you're grateful for? Uh, actually. Archery. Ooh, that's a fun one. Hi. All right, James, back at you. Close your eyes. All right, what do you have? Red and blue. All right, red. Name a person you're grateful for. You. Okay, what's another skill you're grateful for? I <laughs> skill. Hmm. Riding my brother for stuff. <laughs> okay. I give the tea stuff by accident. Um, I want some M Should we? Let me do one word with Darrow and Eric. And if siblings are home, we can let them have a turn to play the game. Yeah. Okay. So Darrow, close your eyes and grab two more M and M. No, they're gonna get marshmallows. No, not those two. Hold on, you got brown again. Pick, pick two other ones. Well, no, pick two other ones. Okay, there now they're different. Okay, I got blue and red. Oh. Blue and red. All right, who is a person you are grateful for? Grandpa. All right, and what is a skill you're grateful for? Um, red my bike so good. Ooh, that is a good skill to have. All right, Eric, pick out two more M and M's. Okay. Without 
picking the color specific. They have to be random. Blue, yellow, no. Blue and yellow. All right, Eric, what's a memory you're grateful for? Memory. Grandma. Me too. All right, what is a skill you're grateful for? Bleeding. Oh, would it be funny Bleeding. if an M&M product? All right. For those who have siblings at home that want to do this real quick, Becca, come here. Close your eyes. Pick up two M&Ms. You have red and orange. So, Becca, who's a person you're thankful for? Um, I am. All right. And what is something that you're grateful for? Um, having my bike fixed. Ooh, having your bike fixed. All right. Eric, do any of your sisters want to do this? Charlie, do you want to do it? No, no they said no. I'll do All it. Right, Marquette. All right, Marquette, let's see you. I'm orange and green. All right. Something I am grateful for. I am grateful that it is not really cold here in the winter. <laughs> Went to strawberry this weekend and I was cold. <laughs> okay, orange and green. Name a place you are grateful for. Um, I am grateful for the Southwest because I love the colors and I love the food and I love how much of our family is in the Southwest and I like our heritage and all, all of it. I'm grateful for the Southwest. Mm, I like that too. All right, I'm going to try. Let's see. Hey, hold on. Everyone's gonna go. I've got green and orange. So something I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for my wood burning stove so it can keep the house warm. So it can get cold at night. And a place I am thankful for. I'm thankful for the mountain. Being able to go up the mountains where it's nice and pretty during the, with the summer. It's cool. No, you can go hiking. So that's what Yay! I'm thinking. Deidre, Grandpa, does anyone else there want to give it a try? Charlie does. Charlie does. All right, Charlie, close your eyes and grab two M&Ms. Oh, it's red and green. Red and green. So who is a person you're thankful for? Mom, okay. And where is a place that you're grateful for? Ah, what's going on? Someone's calling me. Hang on. Where is that? What's ringing? That's Discord. Discord. Okay. Brigham's busting in on our movie. Yes, I, I will have to get back to Brigham in a second. Okay, funny. it's Lots Brigham's birthday, so don't forget to tell him happy birthday. Yes. No, come on, open up Zoom again. Come on, computer. There we go. Okay, is it showing the screen again? Yes. But no, okay. not yet. It's, I still see your you face. Don't have to wait me hours. I see everybody's screens. Um, why is Zoom not pulling up full screen for me right now? No. There we go. Okay, share screen again. Yeah. Green. Ooh. Okay, can you see it again now? No, no, no. There we go. Okay. All right, you guys can snack on your M&Ms a little bit as we do our next thing. Okay. And Becca, you may have two more. Here, ready? We have this for Becca. All right, James, come back for the next part. All right. This one, if Charlie wants to join in on this one, she can. Are you ready? Who has heard of a scavenger hunt? Me. All right. I'm going to pop up a list. And you guys are going to run around as fast as you can and try to find everything on the list. Bring it here and set it near your computer. And once we have everything gathered up, we'll share it with each other, okay? Mom. James? 
Reese's to share the Reese's that are in there are for the bakery. All right, ready? Out of it, Becca. Yeah. On your marks, get set, go. Find something that makes you happy. Makes you happy. Go find something that makes you happy. All right, find something that makes you happy. Run, run, run. Can I do it, Sharpie? Oh, <laughs> I love Marin's answer. <laughs> oh, all right, we'll come around here so you can hold it up. So the phone, yeah, Deidre, a unicorn, Molly. Hi, Molly. Do they just do it one by one or do they go down the whole list all at once? Um, I want to just do an all at once and they can gather everything up, but oh, yeah, no, that's nice. hold it up as they okay. find them. So, so now go right, to so find something and bring them in. Number two now. So find something back and forth on the list. Just make piles. Number two, number two. Number two. Minecraft. Minecraft makes you happy. Becca, something to give someone else to make them oh, smile. Find one thing that you love to smell. Oh, go find something to smell. Something to smell. Right it's in my bedroom. Find out what do you like to smell. Do you like to smell pretty? You don't know your favorite color? So we'll put this one right here. What's something that you I like, like to smell? I like smelling cake, I like but I can't. Smell. All right, okay. well, keep okay. looking. Find more things. Oh, I'll go get a picture. If you can't find something to show, you could draw a quick picture of it if you have to. Okay. Yeah. I have something that's useful for you. What's something that you can use? Uh, all right now put it right here we'll show them all in just a minute all right now you need some find one thing that you enjoy looking like looking at. actually can I have two more that's okay um yeah well keep working on your things All right, so back here. Um, something that is your favorite color. Mm. You you like Keep working on your scavenger hunt. Mm. Keep going. Oops, whoops. No, keep working. color. All right, get right here. Oh, well, something you in nature. Have it on. That's like okay, number six. Okay. Would you like to? I'm reading number six. But we need to find something to represent. But what, what do you want to get from outside that you love? Nature. Let's see. What's your favorite color? I don't know. Be nice. Find something that everybody can make a gift. Don't know if you can pass one, Charlie. Okay. Find something that you can use to make a gift for someone else. No, we're not. I'm not going to use to make a gift. I'll do this anyway. When you find it, you can use to make a gift. Hey, Brenna, you need to be kind. I can use that. Hey, save my family. Done. Okay, let's see. What else do we need? Oh, oh, something that is useful to you. So something you like to use. All right, James, make a pile here on your chair and we'll share them in just a minute. So something that makes you happy. Something to give someone else. Yeah, we're going to turn off the virtual background so that they can. Uh, okay, something that you love to smell. <laughs> oh, dear. That was a silly grin. <laughs> Done. All right, James is gathering up the last of his stuff, and then we can share with each other what we've got. 
I don't know because I bought him a few months ago, but he smells like super good apple cider. Awesome. So put him here. Okay. Um, what do you like looking at? Um, Something you like looking at. Run fast. Run fast. We're waiting. What's the last one? Something that is useful for you that you like to use. I try to it all. Yep. All right. I we'll like wait. to use her every night. All right. Well, we wait for James to get the last of his. I'll let Becca share hers. Okay. Your favorite color. All right. So, Becca, show us what makes you happy. All right. Now, something to give someone else to make them smile. One thing that you love to smell. Uh, one thing you enjoy looking at. Um, your favorite color. I have some more M&Ms. Okay. Um, something in nature that you're thankful for. Okay, your rock. Okay, James, something in nature that you, okay, you got that. Okay. Um, something you can use to make a gift for someone. Oh, you can use your mermaid blanket, your mermaid tail. Okay. And that is something that is useful for you. All right. All right. Let's put all these away. Okay. James, last one for you to go find is something that's useful to you. Since you're done. We can start everyone holding up what the things are. All right. James is getting his last item. Uh, all right on the count of three i want you guys to hold up your item that makes you happy i think that makes you happy one two i had a three what makes you happy and off the phone Minecraft and Legos. Daryl, what makes you happy? Yeah. Not Daryl, Eric. Eric, which one makes you happy? Uh, the one that makes you happy. Oh, your stuffed animal. All right, now pick up something to give someone else to make them smile. A coin. Mm -hmm. Aw, a hug. Um, Pictures? Picture. Is that what you're doing, Daryl? Yep. Road. Okay. One thing that you love to smell. You usually smell really good, like apple cider good. All right, so Daryl's got air freshener. James has a stuffed animal that used to smell like apple cider. Eric, what do you like to smell? I can't bring it over, but I like smelling cake. Ooh, I like that one. All right, one thing you enjoy looking at. These are fun to look at. Looking at. So playing card backs. Daryl's got a baseball card. Or not Daryl, Eric has a baseball card. Daryl, what do you like to look at? I like to look at... Where the... Where the Mom, where did go? It was up here. Did you move it? Yeah. Under your paper, right there. Uh. All right, so something you like to look at, Daryl? Books, ooh, I like that. Okay, um, something that is your favorite color. Orange on this t-shirt, but I don't use it. Orange. Favorite color, Daryl and Eric. 
Red red red. Wow. Oh, red on Darrow's shirt. Yeah. All right, Eric. Favorite color. Thank you. I appreciate it. Mm. All right. Okay. Hey, um, something in nature that you're thankful for. I have a. It's on the ground somewhere. Our home. Uh, one of our grown tomatoes. Oh, a tomato, a leaf. All right, Eric. Something in nature you're thankful for. Mm. Mr. Tank speaking. Um, I cannot win this over, but I like trees. Ooh, trees are good. All right, we're getting short oh, on time. So I read these last two. Can I do something in nature that I can bring over? Real fast. Okay. Oh, plants, very good. All right, something you can use to make a gift for someone. Paper. M&Ms. What's that, Eric? Cheese? Box. A box. Ah. Oh, another thing. Double-sided person. But I would like ah. it. All right, last one. Something yeah. that is useful for you. Oh, something that is useful for me? Um, yeah, something that is useful. Things. Um, uh, uh, it, um, it's, it's the, the, time computer. The, the computer. The computer. Uh huh. All right. What about you, Eric? It's also useful as well. Can you see it? Uh, okay. Is it something black you're holding? Oh. There it is. A glove. James, I don't know if they saw yours. Hold yours up. James had a pair of underwear for his useful thing. <laughs> I will admit, I am thankful for underwear. Underwear is a very useful thing. All right. Hey, James, you always make me sm smile and laugh. <laughs> well, I hope you guys all have a happy, fabulous Thanksgiving. James.